Let's solve this question on higher purchase and compound interest. The cash price of a cooker is 27,500. A customer opts to buy the cooker on higher purchase terms by paying a deposit of 17,250. Determine the monthly rate of compound interest charged on the balance the customer is required to pay to repay by six equal monthly installments of 2,100 each. Now to start with, uh, the cash price is given as uh, 27,500. Then the customer opts to buy on higher purchase by paying a deposit of 17,250. At that point, we'll get the remaining amount of money. The cash price is 27,500. And then the customer pays a deposit of 17,250. So we want to get the amount borrowed. What is the borrowed amount? The borrowed amount, you get it by getting the cash price. The cash price is 27,500. But the customer decides to buy on her purchase by paying a deposit of 17,250. This difference will be the amount of the money that is borrowed, which will be the principal. This will act as the principal. So we subtract this and you're going to get 10,000. This will be 10,250. So this is the principal. This is the money that has been borrowed. After that, are you supposed to determine the monthly rate of compound interest charged on the balance if the customer is required to pay by six equal monthly installments of 2,000? 100 each. So from this statement, we can be able to get the amount that will be paid back. The amount that will be paid back. And this will be the amount every month, 2,100 shillings. So what about for six months? You'll get 2,100 multiplied by six. And this will be 12,000, this will be 12,600. So this will be the total amount of money that will be paid back. Uh, and this is what you're supposed to calculate the interest. So the amount borrowed is 10,000. This is the amount that was remaining after the deposit, 10,250. But the amount paid back is 12,600. Now to get the rate of compound interest charged, we shall use the compound interest formula. And the compound interest formula goes like this. Amount is obtained by getting the principal. 1 plus rate over 100, then raised power n. Where a is the amount that is paid back of, in this case we have 12,600. So we just substitute 12,600. Then the principal, that is the amount borrowed, the balance that we got, 10,250. Then 1 plus, we are getting the rate. So that one remains R. Then N is the period, the period in which this money is paid. It is paid in six equal monthly installment so the period will be six now when you solve this equation and get r that will be the rate <coughs> so we start by dividing both sides uh, because we want to remain with r divide both sides by 10,000 so we can divide this side by 10,250 this one by 10,250 like that so this one cancel so 12,600 divided by 10,250 and I want to write that on to correct to four significant figures so that would be 1.1.229 1 then on this side you have 1 plus rate over 
100 raised to power 6. To get rid of the power 6, you get the 6th root of both sides. You have the 6th root of um, both sides. So you get the 6th root of both sides. So when you get the 6th root of 1.229, uh, that will give uh, 1.035, correct for significant figures. When you get the sixth root of uh, the right-hand side, we'll get 1 plus R over 100. Remember, we want to get R, so we can take uh, 1 to the left-hand side. Remember, we shall have 1.035 minus 1 is equals to R over 100. So this will be 0 0.035 is equals to R over 100. So from here, you can get R by multiplying both sides by 100. Multiply both sides by 100. And this will give R as um, 3.5. Give R as 3.5. Percent. So that is simply how you get the monthly rate of compound interest.